What's up? It's B Boy Supreme from the Ruggeds, and this is Break Advice Project. Not recognized. Today we're gonna do uh, flips and how you can incorporate it and just how to get them nice and clean and you know so they look fresh and explosive. First things first, of course, when doing flips, you of course want to make sure that your body and especially your cores are limber and heated. So typically in your groin. You need to like you just stretch it out a bit, just real good. You know, knees are good, knees, you know, stuff like that. And if you're like, if that's not enough, there's another one uh, where you kind of do this. You kind of sit with a 90 degree angle both ways, like a little mermaid. Not so gangster, but fuck it. And then uh, what you do is you take your right hand to your left knee and you just lean and just let relax. And then when you've done that, you kind of take your left and relax. Cause what it does is it tends in, it loosens up your groin and it relaxes your back because that's what you mainly need for the flips when you do those no hand flips. With hand, arms, but of course. Now we're gonna start off with the Webster, which people also know as front flip. Uh, it's the one that goes like this, and you go forward, okay? Webster is done like this. You uh, you want to push off from your strongest legs. So um, I want to say strongest, I mean the one you have the best balancing, most muscles and most used to. So for me, that's my right. So what I do is I take my right leg up first. And uh, a good way to start is just to do a little jump, just like this. And then uh, take your left leg and you hit backwards. Your heel determines the height. So the further you put your heel up, the higher your web still will be. And really important is when you jump, make sure that your left, your standard leg, my right leg now, is not moving. So I don't or back. A lot of people do that. It doesn't necessarily help. It actually decreases your height and speed. So stay as stay as grounded as possible, the same spot, like this. Okay. And a good way to start is just to do this and then jump to your hands. So you go like this. This. Okay, and again, it's like really slow, same spot. Boom. And then here, my heel, I think your heel has to hit your back of your head without tilting over. So here, to the back of my head, and I jump up. When you get used to that, that's when you want to commit. You go to the next step. The next step is the actual jump, the jump that gives you the muscle to go up. So from here, what happens is your head, your head has to go down to your knee but not exactly on your knee, because it's gonna hurt. So I put it right in between my legs, right here. So my knee comes to my ear. So if this is my head going down, I do this. Yeah, you look right in between your legs. Kind of like, you can say spot your butt. Just aim for your butthole. So here, this, this gives you the clean line. It makes it not, it's not crusty, it's not crooked or anything, it makes it straight. So, for this part, I look down here and then it's easier to spot the floor, so I can spot front. And it's really important in flips to spot, because then you know where to land, so you don't just close your eyes and pray and land on your face and be one of those b-boy, b-girl fails that we're going to laugh about for 16 to 20 years. <laughs> so, here, really so, this motion. And when I get to here, this is where I push off. This is where I push off. And when I do this, my heel continues the momentum. I do this. Oppa. See, I almost actually went overboard. And the good way to start is just to do this like this. Just like that. So you get used to the motion. When that's said, when you practice this over and over, you go higher and higher. And in the end, you can just go forward. And that's the Webster, uh, a twisted Webster variation of this. You need to learn the first the Webster first. This done, all you gotta do now is this one is, now my heel pivots. So here, it's kind of like, you know, taking it back and then straightening your leg. But what happens is then you rotate sideways. So from this being straight on, now this, is over your body. So if I stand like this, kind of like cartwheeling. 
and then land it. That's kind of the deal. But it's not a, it's not a butterfly twist or anything on like a butterfly jump. Don't get it twisted. Here, sideways Webster. See how I grab my leg? Because in this one, I have to pull my legs to my knee. So my Webster is like this, sideways. So I sit like this, and I also land like this. Now here, you want to do the same thing, same momentum. Chest down here. But now what you do is now your heel goes over your head. Okay? So notice my head. It's really important. So here, my head starts looking left over my left shoulder. So I can follow the leg and then see the ground even faster so I won't fall. Or at least if I do, I won't die. Which is very good. Really good not to die. So here. And now what happens is I pull it in. Not to my face. To the chest. And don't don't do this in flips. Don't don't do this. It's first of all really ugly, like really ugly. And second of all, it, it messes up your like coordination. You you get disorientated by it. So here, keep your neck straight. And just look over, just like that, like this. Every time you do flip, make sure this is good, so you never get hurt. So you can always spot up and down as well. Okay. So relax and just look regularly. That's it. It's like this. All it is, it's like this, in, into the chest. The reason why I say this is when you pull your legs into your chest, you become faster, your momentum increase because you turn small, it's like a ball. So you go in really quick and then out again, which makes it also very explosive and you have a good height. So you also land like this, you know? The first couple of times you might land like this, it's okay because then you did it. All you gotta do is just continue it. Continue, continue, continue. And make sure your technique is correct. Rather have the good technique than, you know, strong force. Because land on the flip, coming up like this, look like you. I almost took a shit halfway down. Com combining it with uh, your breaking, uh, it's done anywhere. Top rocks. You can start it off. You can come in like this. Boom, tap, boom, tap, tap, boom, clutch, boom, tap, boom, boom, tap. No, like from tops. You can even combine it in from power moves, like. Uh, a good way to put it in from power moves is, you know, from a swipe is an easy access to kind of stop the fast momentum so you don't fall around. So, and also flare, like just do like a scuff flare. If I, I, just, I just basically want to get to this position so I can do anything, okay? Just standing up. So, from anything you do, if you, uh, say the convection, push up, and from here, you can like make it happen, you know? And it can come from different things like Webster's and there's also some like backflips, which is very, very, very common. So easy to use. And a really good way to combine backflip is uh, like a macaco. A macaco is first of all, like you need your hand as a line. Look at it, backwards, right? So. Now my hand is my hand is the direction I want to go. Like it's it's the driver. So my hand determines how far I go. So I have to follow it with my body. Now what my hip does, my hips, I make sure that I push off all the way. Like my hips come up like this. Alright, so even without jumping, I do this. Alright, so now again. So now what I do is I make a little bit angled version just to start. If you're feeling uncomfortable with going backwards because you're scared, the worst thing that happens is you just fall on your back and you're not high, so it won't hurt. So stop complaining. <laughs> do it again. Go here. Now what I do is I push off, since it's my right arm in the floor, I push off with my right leg in the end. So I do this. All right. So now when I push off, my left leg kicks. I kick it straightly over my head. Because, so when I do the macaco, so. It's really, really, really simple. And like I said, macaco and backflip goes like hand in hand. So you can like. You know? Flips comes in tons of way. And it's really good to create explosive also acrobatic movement in your breaking so you're not always just always grounded 
And it's just great for momentum. Like you, you create a powerful statement. Da 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 flip. Boom. Continue. Da. Or stop. It's also a perfect, it's a perfect ending too. If you catch it on B2, oh shit, it's game over. You know? It looks crazy. So flips, very good and handy. And flips is not typically also this. It's not always just on your feet. You can also flip different parts of the body. Just cause just because I say flip doesn't mean you always do legs up, jump, round, down. A flip is also down low. Like, uh, I think with Taishika has like, a, it's like a flip. Because he tosses himself and rotates and catches himself again. It's kind of like a flip. You know, that's one way of doing flip. Flips comes in different directions. Flips comes in thousands, thousands of variations. Don't ever think flips is just one category. It's many things. And flips are really good for getting creative with. And, uh, a really good advice for flips, practice like your leg muscles, like your jump. I, I used to play basketball, so that's why I jump like a monkey. It helps, and because I'm black, and black people jump high, they run fast. It helps, <laughs> but really good. Uh, and good practicing with, um, to get your legs muscles really good, especially your calf, you know? It's, uh, usually people say squats, not necessarily only. Like also if you get used to like this. I do these a lot. Push off, push off. So what I do is I stand on one leg and just see how high I can jump with it. And then see how close I can get. So first I start low, match that. Then I lift my leg higher. So my, my leg I'm jumping from have to match the other leg in the air. Just to see how high I can get. Left. And you have a good leg and a bad leg. Everybody knows that. And then like, you have the X-Men that has no bad nothing. So there, go. All right? But also, these are good. Huh? When you're down low, see how high you can jump. Go high. Like, try to jump high with straight legs. And use ankle weights. Ankle weights is really good, because you, uh, you get used to a certain certain weight that's added to your body, and then when you take them off, you're all of a sudden half the weight. It's gonna feel really, really ridiculous in the beginning and almost impossible, but you just gotta get used to it and keep trying, just just do it. Don't ask so much questions, like putting on your shirt, you put it on. Even if it's too big or too small, you put it on. It's your choice, put it on. You wanna get good to flips, put it on. Do all that thing and just keep all these things flexible, your arms, your legs, your neck, everything, everything has a like a specific role in flips. Everything. Your arms have, especially if you do rotation flips, arms are crucial. If you want to do like a backflip with full twist, your arms play a big part. You don't just and then let them toss around. They become extra weight and they will they will slow you down and they will look sloppy and messy and yeah, you won't be satisfied. And arms are tense, you know? You wanna do a rotation flip, you have to tense in your arm. If you're doing corkscrew, you can't just a corkscrew flip. Actually, corkscrew is a snap. So the corkscrew flip, as we know it, is like this, you know? You kick up, you look back, and what I do is, when I kick, that's one thing, to do like a gainer or whatever. So when I kick up, now what I do is my head looks down. Okay, so if I'm out here, my head looks down. I look again over my shoulder, my head is in it now. So when I do this, I do this. So now if I want to rotate just a little bit, I'm gonna try to do this without killing myself. I do this. Automatically, by pulling in my hands like this, my body starts, my body starts to rotate. Okay. I'll be for Supreme. <laughs> the ruggets this is break advice and take this shit and get the fuck out now recognize now recognize now recognize break advice